A little about me first. My dad died when I was a senior in high school, and my, he had remarried. My stepmom kicked me out of the house. He left me a Volkswagen and $2,000 to go to college. Didn't like college. Um, I, I guess I, and sometimes I wish I'd have gotten to college, but other people tell me I'm lucky I didn't. I always had high energy, a low aversion to risk, and in, 19, uh, 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 in 1971, uh, as I was a senior in high school, I started an auto repair shop working on Volkswagen Bugs. And there's a few people in the room that remember Volkswagen Bugs, but they were pretty cool. And uh, so I, I then went, moved into auto repair, and then I opened a collision center. And in 1978, uh, I had 35 old cars that I, I'd been going to uh, the salvage auction and buying cars to get parts to fix clients' cars. And I rented a little corner and of a... Of a, of a piece of land and bought a 10 by 20 portable building and opened a salvage yard with one employee. Uh, and uh, in 1986, I was one of the first to computerize with AutoInfo. And I grew to 150 employees and 15 million in sales uh, when I sold out to Ford Motor Company in 1999. By the way, uh, just as an aside, uh, of the 15 million in sales, a million of what we sold was warranties. So you have to stop and think about that just a minute, but we sold a million dollars a year in warranties. And warranties, if you're not doing them, are something you should be doing, but they are 90% gross margin uh, and virtually all profit. Um, in 1998, I, was ca I capital recapitalized my business with a private stock offering. Uh, Ford was not around yet, um, and neither was LKQ, and, but I knew that I needed to get bigger, and so I raised a million dollars in a private stock offering and, and got a little bit bigger. Uh, in 1997, I instituted a Restraint of Trade Act with the, uh, against ADP. And back then, I couldn't talk about that. But today, it's a long time later. And ADP doesn't like me any more than they used to like me. But I was Lardo Info's largest customer. And in the middle of the night, we were, it was announced that Hollander had bought Auto Info. And so I sent flyers to all the recyclers in the United States and said, if you don't think this is right, then send this coupon to the FTC. And the FTC got 127 coupons, opened an investigation, uh, subpoenaed ADP's records, and in their records, one of the directors had said, with this, with this uh, acquisition, we will expeditiously monopolize the data of the auto recycling industry. They fined them $10 million, which was the largest fine ever levied under a Hart Scott Rodino Act. Uh, uh, violation and made them divest AutoInfo, which of course today AutoInfo is still here as a competitor to ADP. At that time I started URG, there were uh, uh, a little over 300 people that paid $18,000 a piece in uh, and then we formed a joint venture with, uh, uh, with the, the uh, with, to, to, to write Pinnacle which today, of course, is uh, an important computer system that a lot of recyclers are using. Uh, I sold out to Ford Motor Company in 1999. I worked on their ERP. It was funny. Uh, ERP is Inter Enterprise Resource Planning, and basically it's a fancy name for a big computer. And they had PeopleSoft software, and they, wanted to, they thought they could write a better system for auto recyclers. They, uh, they ended up folding the project. They spent $15 million on it and sued PeopleSoft. And it was, a, it, was a, it was a disaster for them, to say the least. Um, I sold, in, in 1999, I sold to Ford. I stayed 18 months with Ford, growing the sales 50% to $24 million. As I left Ford, I started a salvage auction. Uh, I funded it with a pri another private stock offering. And, and three months after 9-11, uh, and after my salvage auction started, there were, uh, I was the only private salvage auction that competed against Copart and IAA. Copart bought us. And it was not what I intended, but it was a generous offer, and the, the shareholders and other people thought we should sell. I wrote my first book at that time called Salvaging Million. I sold the salvage auction to Copart. I built about 800,000, almost a million feet of industrial warehouse, now rented. Uh, I started consulting for salvage yards and a lot of other businesses as well. I wrote my second book, Green Weenies, which is a book about financial terms and, and all that process of selling to Ford and later buying, for, buying it back and so on and so on. I dealt with a lot of venture capital groups, asset-based lenders, and there are a lot of funny terms in that world. Some of them are kind of mean, but they really happen in boardrooms. 
Uh, in 2003, Ford called. They had lost a quarter billion dollars, $250 million. They had 35 locations in 19 states, and they wanted to sell it back. And I ended up buying it uh, from Ford, turning it around, making it profitable. In 2005, I sold Greenleaf to Snitzer. Of course, as you know now, Snitzer sold those, most of those locations to LKQ. Uh, my consulting now, a lot of it is for hedge funds and uh, because they are interested in Sal they don't understand salvage and auctions and insurance companies and auto repair and what is Copart stock worth and where is LKQ and what are the risks and, and they think LKQ and Copart are the same kind of company. They, you, I know that surprises you, but people in the stock market see all those as scrap companies. Um, the, uh, I wrote Salvaging More Millions, my uh, next book. I got started in exotic auto rental. Then I wrote my most recent book, which is Getting to Yes with Your Banker. Um, by the way, uh, I was going to bring some books to give away, but I forgot to do that. So what I'd like to do is gather some cards at the end, uh, and then at the end, we'll give away like three or four of those books, and I'll mail a book to everybody and autograph it. We'll do the same in the other session too, if, depending on. Uh, I guess everybody will be about the same in both sessions. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have three new books coming out this year: Peer Benchmarking, uh, Story of Extreme Extreme Excess. Um, Event marketing for your small business, and uh, peer benchmarking for the healthcare industry. And today I'm working on uh, benchmarking doctors. Uh, we're, we special, we're specializing in OBGYNs, family care, and uh, plastic surgeons. But they're all under siege because of the Healthcare Reform Act, and they're all looking for answers on how to reform their practices and earn, learn, earn more money, and regain their independence if possible. Um, and one of the things that I do a lot of today is web, web work, search engine optimization, helping auto recyclers and other businesses learn how to do their business on the web. That's my first book, my second book, the third book. That's the Banker book, which is out now. And we'll probably give a, some of each of those books away. That's the Peer Benchmarking book. 